Okay, so I got the body all painted. I used a Tamiya TS-26, pure white. I went ahead and painted all of it. I'm getting ready to tape off for the roof now. And I'm gonna do, thing, do it a little bit different than what I see most people doing. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, uh, but I heard that they used candy apple red for the top. So that's kind of what I'm going to try to replicate is candy apple red. So first thing I'm going to do is tape off the top area. I'm going to use my thin Tamiya tape. I'm going to start on too much of it there. Start on this line. Uh, it was basically right at that crease is where it started and it ran along the, the fender. On down to the very tail end of it's there. So it's about right. And again, this is AJ Foyt's uh, 72 Daytona 500 winner. So, uh, so it's got the whole trunk red, rather than just the just the top part there. So, make sure that lid's stuck down real good, and that should be fine. The other side, hopefully, I got enough here. Not wasting any tape. Yeah, it should be plenty. Just trying to line it up as best I can with the other side, and it looks about right there. So, tape around the A pillar Go for the other side there it's a little too long but that's okay All right, sorry I got interrupted there, but so I've got it all taped off, ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, some gold, lay down a base, and then on top of that, I'm going to use Tamiya's uh, clear red. I'm going to have to let this gold sit for a while. Anyways, I'm going to shoot this gold, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like, leave it all taped up, and I'll shoot the red, and then after it sets up and everything, so I'll be right back. Alright, I shot the gold. This stuff comes out very fast, so you got to be very careful with it. Um, it's very metallic-y. It's got a little bit of orange peel to it, but... I'm not real worried about that. 
it should be a good base for the red though so I'll let that set up for a good long while and then once it's ready I'll put the uh, clear red over the top of it and it should come out pretty damn good so I will talk to you later all right I've got the clear red over the top of that and man does it look good I mean that's why I wanted to do it like this I got a little bit of didn't paint tape off very good there but other than that man it looks sharp it's real deep looking and that's what I was going for uh, it I feel like it turns out better than just painting it like a metallic red so that's what I was going after and that's what I achieved so let this dry and then on to decals after that thank you all for watching